morning, I'm Dilip Thapa, editor of Education Work. Good morning, I'm Samia Yasmin, managing editor. Well, here it is, our 24th anniversary issue. And in this, I've written a story which I've always wanted to write, but I felt it may not uh, be like fall squarely within the parameters of an education magazine. But nevertheless, so here it is. Why do Indians succeed everywhere except in India? It's a story which, uh, like I said, I always wanted to write. And finally, I bit the yes, bullet. Yes, and, and, and when we tell you more about this story, uh, you'll find the connection, deep connection with education. Indeed, yes. Okay, so let's uh, quickly, like always, take you through what we've got in our bumper 24th uh, anniversary issue, full of, uh, you know, informative content, news, opinions, and... Very, very interesting, uh, uh, special anniversary the essays, essays too, written we'll by take. very eminent people, right? Yes. Yes. So first in our editorial uh, section, uh, Dilip, this time, I think an important, very important uh, edit on the uh, Israel-Palestinian conflict. And where we why, give yes, our take. Yes, and where we've said that, you know, there's a need for time and need for a Gandhian two-state solution the violence and you know death of yes. children almost 60 percent of the fatalities are of women and children second uh, editorial we talked about mr narayan murthy's famous now famous uh, 70 hour exhortation, exhortation to all youth to work 70 hours per week so we say rather than hard we need to work smart and especially uh, our workers factory workers and farm uh, people who work the farms, they need to use modern tools rather than uh, just do back-breaking labor. Yes. As usual, very interesting education news. Uh, in Delhi, uh, we talk about a very ambitious uh, project of the Union Education Ministry where they want all, all students, 260 million school children, uh, to be enrolled under a new AFAR card which will store their digital identity starting and right from preschool to higher education. So yes. that's a very ambitious project we talk about. And then in Bengal, the never ending saga of the teacher recruitment, but here there's some positive news. Uh, Mamta Banerjee has announced you know, recruitment uh, and started actually, yes. uh, rolled it. out the process of uh, recruiting primary school teachers. So finally some good news there. But in Tamil Nadu, there's some foot dragging about recruiting teachers. In Anna University. Yeah, in university. Mm. Yeah, in Anna mm. University. Huge faculty shortage and uh, our take on that. And in, uh, again in uh, Maharashtra, again a very interesting uh, education news, Dilip. Mm. Maharashtra government has you know, introduced a scheme where corporates, organizations, private organizations can adopt a government school. And uh, surprisingly, teachers, the Teachers Federation are causing this move. Uh, we tell you more about why they're doing it. Yeah, I'm you not surprised. Read, you, have, you have to read the story to know why, yes. why they're doing it. Uh, why they're opposing very, it. Again, yes. very interesting education notes from other states. They're not covered in education news. Mm -hmm. Like Jharkha, Nagaland, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, etc. Then Young Achievers. Yes, and mm -hmm. this time we've got a coup de lip in our Young Achievers section. We've profiled the table tennis champs of the Asian Games, Ahika and Sutrita Mukherjee, the two wonder girls. Yes, they yes. They were bronze medal They were bronze medals. Yeah. For us, they champs. Yes. <laughs> Even though they won bronze because they beat the top 10 Chinese pair on oh, their way. They the world, former world champions. Yes, yes. and this is the you know, top ranked Chinese pair on yes. their way to the uh, bronze medal. And, and also another uh, Asian Games uh, winner, Jyoti Araji. In the athletics hurdles, field, 100 meter yes, hurdles yes. champion, potential champion. Yes. Then one of our, our first anniversary essays, uh, very uh, perhaps a, a bit of a coup itself, in that we persuaded Dr. K. Kasturi Rangan, who is the chairman or uh, the author of the National Education Policy and also the National uh, yes, Curriculum for School. Yeah, framework. chairman of the National Curriculum Framework Steering yes. Committee. To to give us one of his speeches, and which we've uh, which we've uh, edited into a two-column uh, essay, yes. uh, uh, saying that 
NEP and NCF, the curriculum framework, are very intimately connected, or they should be connected. Yeah. Yes. And then we move to our very interesting cover story, uh, Dilip. Mm -hmm. Why are Indians succeeding everywhere except in India? Yeah, it's quite staggering how many Indians are heading to, like the world's biggest companies, the world's most respected universities, and uh, also people of Indian origin uh, could, are becoming prime ministers and presidents. And yes. uh, whereas in India, we are uh, people are leaving in droves. Between uh, the last two years, three, according to uh, a report, recently published report, 3.61 lakh high net worth individuals and professionals have migrated out of India. Yes. And, and we presented some stats also where we show you that how Indians lead everywhere in acquiring OECD citizenship. Yes. So we've investigated the cause of this starting right from the adoption of a socialist ideology and uh, then talked about corruption and uh, uh, various other... Yes. Uh, no, and we, uh, I think, the, uh, the format of the story is very interesting where, you know, we've discussed what, this why under, you know, some very heads, important yeah. heads. The first head is, uh, you know, politics and economy, how the economic conditions and political conditions are also, a, you know, a prompting factor for this emigration which is happening yes. into foreign shores. Which is very slow growth yes. of the economy for almost 50 years, yes. which pushed people out of the country because there are no jobs available. Yeah, and the poor ease of doing business. Ease of doing, yes. Environment. Yes, and indeed. then there's other corruption in law and order. Correct. I mean, the breakdown of the law and order system, you know, are almost snail pacing moving judiciary, judiciary corruption, and then most importantly, Public education and health. Yes. We analyze how this also is a very strong yes. factor. I mean, the in Indian students abroad uh, spend more than the entire education budget of the union of government. the union government abroad every year. Every year. Yes. And uh, we believe that because of lack of public education, all this corruption, law and order, etc., low growth is all connected with education. Yes. And another one of our anniversary essays by, is written by Sheila Bo, who is the CEO of Access MCA, and uh, Dr. Raymond Ravaglia, who is the former uh, founder of the Stanford Online High School. They talk about you know artificial intelligence, freedom, and human development, and its connection from a school, higher education, and finally to career. Yes, a yes very artificial intelligence now is a big thing. So it's good that we've got yes. a column on that. Yes. And in our people section, again, very uh, interesting people doing phenomenal work. Our first one is on Vineet Nair, who is the uh, founder of the Sampark Foundation and how it's transforming uh, government schools, learning outcomes in government schools across almost uh, 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 eight states, uh, Dilip. Yeah, and Vineet was the former CEO of HCL, the blue chip uh, IT company. Yes. And how he's uh, resigned from his work there and devoted himself to education. Really inspiring story. Yeah. Another, another inspiring story on Singapore-based. Yeah, Singapore-based. Leadership skills. All these are people are working in government schools. And committed to education. Yes. So there are several, uh, there are four such people. Mm -hmm. And, that is, and uh, we, of course, uh, we think they are very interesting mm -hmm. stories. I hope you do as well. Yes. And our, uh, another anniversary essay is by Dr. Raj Kumar. Mm -hmm. It's how he presents a roadmap on how to build a globally respected legal system by 2047. Some, he's given some five-point agenda, Dilip, again very interesting. And then we have our Education World India Grand uh, Jury School Rankings, uh, which are different and distinct from our India School Rankings. Here we have a jury of eminent educationists. Whereas there in, we do it by field, field service. Survey. So here a grand jury of eminent educationists uh, has you know rated India's uh, top 10 schools uh, across various categories and parameters which are not uh, a part of our school rankings yes. field based survey. These are different, so, uh, yes. different parameters. Yes, so right? they, they include parameters such as campus architecture and design, high happiness 
quotient schools, SDGs committed schools, uh, best technology integration, design thinking, etc. Yeah. So uh, these are all there, the top 10 schools. So you can you know uh, check them out. And this the process also is different. Mm -hmm. This is uh, based on nominations. The schools nominate themselves yeah. with evidence, yeah. which the grand jury assesses and then ranks. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. very useful, of course, as usual. And the reactions from the heads of the school. Yes. Then international news, we talk about the education impact of mm -hmm. the India-Canada row going on at the political level. Then very interesting uh, education news that in China, communist China, they raised the higher education tuition fees, which have remained stagnant in India for the last uh, 50 years. Yeah. Yeah, well, and that's one of the reasons why India, the Indian university is such a district. This yeah. There's also a very uh, interesting story in, in Mexico, Dilip. I mean, we think that the textbooks controversy only happens in India. Mm. Mexico is in the throes of a you know, textbook controversy where yeah. the, a new president has rewritten all the textbooks. Then, and then our special 24th anniversary retrospective uh, where we uh, profiled 33 turning point lead features. Written in yes, education written world. In education world, we think over the last twenty-four years. Yes, twenty-fourth yes. anniversary. Yes. Thirty-three lead features written over the past twenty-four years, which we think have you know helped in moving the, uh, education from the periphery to the center of the national de development agenda, actually, which we believe uh, helped to move the needle of public policy. And uh, Education World India School Ranking Awards, we've got a very nice pictorial essay they left. But again, I'd like to uh, you know, alert our viewers that this is only a selected uh, pictorial essay. We have over a thousand, uh, 12, 1200 schools attend the event. Yes. So if you want to see the full pictorial essay, you have to go on our website. It's all available there. This is only selected. Yes, and we should remind our perhaps our viewers that the Education World India School Ranking Awards uh, education India School Rankings is the world's largest school ranking of schools. We ranked over 4,000 schools from across the country. And the awards are a sequel to that, where we celebrated and felicitated uh, award, uh, the top ranked schools. Yes. And then we also delivered, uh, felicitated some distinguished educationists under our a lifetime Achievement in Education yes. Leadership Awards. So we've got their citations also printed. So the citations which are read out at the awards. awards. Yes. So one of them was Dr. Larry Ahn, who came all the way from Hillsdale uh, College, USA. Another one was Dr. Arup Mukhopadhyay, Namodar Prasad Doyal, and Srimati Meena Devatiya. Yes. And uh, third uh -huh. uh, anniversary essay was uh, written by uh, Mr. Rajiv Desai, a very well-known columnist. He wrote on, you know, why. Uh, uh, public, public relations, relations has got a bad reputation because of the way politicians use uh, yeah. public relations. Yes, and another essay also on a very important subject, very close to education world they live. So I'm very happy we have an essay in, in our anniversary show on this subject, which is the critical importance of early childhood education. And written by a very uh, by a expatriate uh, educationist with the vast experience of yes, the subject. from the German school Mumbai. And book reviews again very interesting. Both our book reviews are very interesting. One is on you know uh, land, guns, caste, woman on a lapsed revolutionary woman leader. Yes. So quite interesting there. And then another one is on you know a translation of uh, C. Anadurai's the late uh, yes, Chief, Minister Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Literary legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course we round up with the our very interesting post. Our post red page which is a postscript yes so very interesting postscripts there again they live so we recommend that you read them uh, and you know i think overall i think Dilip, we should tell our readers that you know we we'd like feedback we'd like you to you know react to our 24th anniversary Mo issue yes I a think lot of food for thought there and a mountain of labor has been invested in the anniversary education uh, 24th anniversary uh, issue of education world so that's it. Namaste. Yes, but before we go, uh, our parents world cover story, again, on a very, uh, I think, uh, uh, important uh, issue, which, you know, everyone, all parents are, especially during winter, is a time for illnesses. So we've cho chosen a, a story where we, we are 
he not asked, he, he asked uh, very highly qualified dietitians, pediatricians and doctors to recommend science-backed home remedies for, you know, uh, minor childhood ailments. So you'll find that story very useful. Yes, and because you can't run to the doctor for mm -hmm. everything. Right? Then there are of course other stories in parents who are also uh, helping teens to break free of digital device addiction. Yes. Very timely story. And uh, best essential oils for children. Well, that's it from us. We wish you happy Diwali, somewhat belated. Yeah, happy Diwali and season's greetings. Yes.